Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Ultimate's Leonardo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line from Super 7. Very excited about this. This is uh, one of the second wave for Super 7 uh, for their TMNT line. And uh, I've had this for a, a small amount of time, but I was kind of waiting on BBTS to get their order in. And then when they finally did and I shipped it over, I kind of had been backlogged in reviews, so I do apologize. But very excited to finally get to these. Very, very excited indeed. Uh, first off, the packaging. I love this packaging. I love the manhole cover here with Leonardo's face and the two little katana there. I think that's really, really cool. Come around to the back, you got that classic Turtles logo. Absolutely love that. On the top, it just says Ultimates. And then when we go ahead and pull the slip cover off, we see beautiful Leonardo figure. Really, really nicely done. Ton of accessories here. Alternate head, all kinds of great stuff going on. And I really like this like subway brick motif they have going on here for the packaging i think that's really cool if you want to go ahead and read this i will bring it up so you can pause it there but yeah really really fun bright colorful packaging i absolutely love it i'm gonna go ahead get leonardo out of this box and we're gonna take a closer look i think this looks absolutely fantastic they've done a fantastic job of recreating the original Playmates toy, but obviously upscaling it. He looks amazing. The only thing that takes me out of it a little bit is the extra silver on the belt. I don't remember that from the original toy, and it's possible I'm just misremembering it. Uh, definitely, you know, this the silver circle around the L, but this little bit on the sides, I don't really remember. It's not a deal breaker by any means. I just, it kind of caught me off guard when I first saw it. I really didn't think that was going to be there. But again, it doesn't matter because they have done a fantastic job. Uh, the shade of green is perfect. You know, matches the original toy and really pairs well with the blue. They've done such a great job of recreating the figure. And the head sculpt is fantastic. I love that. The katanas look really, really nice. Unfortunately, mine has a couple paint mishaps. You can see here on the hilt of the sword on this side. And then I have some little, little bit here on the blade. It's very minimal. Not a big deal. It's a seasoned ninja's weapon. It wouldn't be 100% pristine, right? We'll just, that's headcanon now. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this thing looks great. I'm going to go ahead and take the katana out of his hand temporarily. Just so we can get into the articulation of the figure as I flip the swords all over the place. We'll put them off to the side. So yeah, really, really, really looks good. Head sculpt is absolutely fantastic. You can even see kind of some texture there on the bandana, which is kind of neat. And I don't know if that's, I assume that's meant to be there, but it almost kind of looks like fingerprints, but I think that's meant to be there. Uh, you have a kind of barbell system for the head articulation. There is a very limited ball joint at the base of the neck and then a ball joint in the head. And I'll show you what I mean when I pop the head off. So very kind of limited ball joint down here. And then you have this ball joint actually in the head. You can see it goes in there pretty deep. And it's very easy to pop on and off, which is nice. And that gives you a pretty good range of motion, so you can kind of rock the head side to side. Real complete spin, no problem there. And then you can kind of move the head around at the base of the neck as well. So that looks good. You have a hinge and a rotation in the shoulder. You have a bicep swivel. You have a single elbow joint. And there is also a rotation in the elbow. It seems a little limited, but it is there. And then you have uh, rotation. And there is a hinge in the wrist as well. I'll go ahead and pop this off just for simplicity's sake. If you will stand for a moment, Leo. You can see the hinge. And it's very easy to just pop these in and out so you can switch them out. Of course, he does come with some alternate hands. So let me stand him up real quick and we'll take a look at the alternate hands that he comes with so first up you have a set of clenched fists you have another set of open hands i guess these are a little bit more constricted than the the hands he comes with in the box not a lot but slightly more i guess just to hold different weapons so you get a second set of those and then you have a kind of more open-handed set, I guess we're holding maybe pizza or some of the other accessories that just would require a little bit larger open hand, something like that. 
So four sets of hands all together, which is pretty nice. And I did forget to show off. This is kind of a more comic accurate alternate head sculpt. I love the original Playmates heads, and I almost always just stick with those because, you know, that nostalgia factor, and I love the design of those. But these heads are actually pretty cool as well. And you have the bandana trailing out the back. So I really do like these alternate heads, but it's hard to beat the Playmates ones for me. Now, continuing through with the articulation, you have kind of a ball joint here in the waist. You can kind of see how that whole section can kind of move around. And then... My hips are kind of really loose. Not so loose that it's a problem, but you can see the hinge joint there. You can kick forward, miss, you know, move the leg around there. There's a swivel. And then you have a, a bicep swivel. A bicep swivel. A thigh swivel. <laughs> That's his thigh. So there's a thigh swivel there, which you can see is kind of really loose on both of them. I'm surprised. And then you have uh, this hinge here, which is also kind of loose. And then the swivel. So... I don't know. I don't know why his his hips are so loose on mine. And I also kind of feel like they should be up here more. They seem too pulled down. And I, at first I was thinking it's one of those joints where I can kind of like lift it up a little bit, but I can't. So I don't know. It's not a huge problem or anything like that. Uh, and maybe I do. Maybe I mean, this does move a little bit, so maybe I just need to kind of position it a little better. But I don't know. The hips seem a little loose to me. Not a deal breaker, but they seem loose. Uh, you have a single bend here in the knee. And then you should have a rotation here as well. Yeah, you have a swivel there as well. And then you have the ankle and then the rock side to side. So you have the hinge in the ankle and then the rock side to side. So, yeah, I don't know why. I just don't know what's going on with these hips. I don't know why. I mean, he still holds a pose. It's not a problem. And I don't think it's going to break, but it does kind of make me a little nervous. And Raphael was not like this, so I don't really know what's up. But like I said, he holds a pose. He's not going to fall over. It's just weird that it's so loose. But either way, he's got a lot of nice articulation. And I love the sword holder here on the back. So we can go ahead and put the katana in here. Slide this over top. Now, if the way he would wear them on the show, he'd have them all the way down like that so that they kind of hung really loose or really low on the back. If you want, there's enough friction that you can kind of bring them up a little bit. Well, not so much on this one, but on the other one there is. <laughs> so you can kind of bring it up a little bit if you want. I kind of wish I could get this one too. This one's a little bit looser, but I might be able to just kind of, there we go, maybe turn it around or something like that. I mean, all the way down is not a problem. That is kind of how he had him on the show. He had him a little bit lower. And ultimately, it still looks good. I love that he can have both the swords on the back like that. Really very cool. And he does have a couple more weapons to take a look at. He's got one of these. I don't know what this is called, but it's some kind of like spear hook combo. Very nicely painted. Very, very nicely painted. He has some shuriken. He's got one of these poker things that, you know, Raf has that thing on the back to hold. Still not 100% sure what that is either. And then he's got another kind of handheld pokey device. <laughs> I'm not really sure what these are called, but uh, you also get the turtle communicator, which looks great. Very nicely detailed. And you have the closed and open version. So that's really nice. They give you both options there. And then of course, what would a turtle be without a piece of pizza? And like I showed off of those earlier open hands, you could kind of put the piece of pizza in here, something like this, and have them hold on to it. So I feel like that's what these you know, larger open hands are kind of for something like that. So that's really cool. And of course, the original light brown weapon rack. So if you're feeling very nostalgic, they did include these, which I think this is a cool idea. I'm glad they don't do just, I think originally they were going to do just these, and then the fans were like, uh, hey guys, this is an expensive figure, we want painted weapons, and they're like, okay. So they give you both. For nostalgia's sake, I think this is amazing because this is exactly what the original toys came with. 
and it's got the little feet so it can stand up which is kind of cool but i'm glad they give you both i just keep these like this i never I, part of me wants to display him with the brown weapons because of course that would be exactly like the original but then you know another part of me doesn't want to actually break them off of this so i can't do it but i think that's kind of neat let me go ahead and get these katana back into his hands here and they are a little difficult it's not terrible but they do sometimes feel a little hard to get into his hands but you can do it there we go so i brought raf in to get a group shot and i was kind of messing around with his legs to compare to them and his are actually looser than i remember so i guess it's just a mold thing uh, on one hand, it's nice because I really don't have to worry about the joints locking up and breaking, which is something I sometimes have to worry about with NECA toys, uh, when they kind of paint the joints shut and it's very difficult to get them to move. Certainly don't have that issue here. They move quite fluidly. And as you can see, there are no danger of falling over. The joints aren't so much of a loose mess that, you know, they can't hold a pose or anything like that. It's just something to be aware of when handling the figure, because sometimes it feels like it wants to break, but I... It feels loose, like I'm going to just snap it off because it's so loose, but it, it should be fine. I really don't think it's a problem. And uh, both of these figures look absolutely fantastic. The resemblance to the original Playmate toys is just astounding. They have really crushed it, and I absolutely love them. So I absolutely love this figure. I can't recommend it enough. I mean, as someone who grew up with the original Playmates Ninja Turtle line, it was a big part of my childhood, the nostalgia factor is just off the charts with this thing. Super 7 has done such an amazing job of recreating the look and feel of those original Playmate figures. And like I said, just the, the shading of the turtle, the color scheme, the paint job, the accessories. It's just, it's there. It just looks like a better version of that toy I played with as a kid. And I can't get enough of it. I absolutely love it. Plus, they give you a ton of accessories here. They give you the alternate head, the alternate hands, all the weapons. So even if you just want a good Turtles figure and maybe the original feel of the Playmates line isn't important to you, you can go ahead and rock that other head sculpt, which is a little bit more comics accurate. And it's still a great figure. Now, I did mention that I felt like the hip joints were a little loose. And I've kind of played with them a little bit more. They hold poses. You know, if you kind of kick the leg out to the side, it'll stay there. It's not droopy. It's not a noodle. So it's. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I think it's just I'm not used to joints being so loose because I'm also really used to the NECA Turtle toys. And those joints are ridiculously tight. So I'm trying to find a happy medium here. But I think in the long run, this is going to be the better situation because I don't really have to worry about moving the joints around and snapping anything off. I just have to kind of move everything around and find the right pose and find the right balance and shouldn't really have an issue. So... I love this toy. Highly recommend it. Looks fantastic. Can't wait to get my hands on the other two turtles so I can have the whole team of four. And uh, yeah, like I said, I absolutely love this and I can't recommend it highly enough. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.